All right. The escrow agent, who is often an attorney or an officer of the title company, is the one that kind of guides the process of the closing. They accept escrow money into the account. They take the earnest money. They may take the borrower's lender's money. And then they're the ones that are responsible for distributing all of the funds according to the purchase contract. All right. In addition to that, they are the ones that they ensure that all of the other items within the purchase agreement are actually transacted. Are there fees to be paid to contractors? Are there fees to be paid to uh, taxing authorities? Are there fees to be paid to couriers and recording people? And all of the terms that are used and carried out inside of that purchase agreement. It is their ethical duty to follow that purchase agreement as was agreed upon by a buyer and seller. They are also responsible for following all the instructions that have been initiated and complied with by both the seller and buyer. Like I said, maybe there's a contractor that fixed something and the seller says, I want you to take this out of my proceeds and that becomes part of the escrow uh, instructions. It is then that person's requirement to do that. And they have to do it all in a timely manner. So these are all issues and situations where the obligations of the escrow officer is to follow exactly that in set of instructions. If there's defaults that occur, it might be the responsibility of the escrow agent to execute the remedies, the right to terminate the contract, the right to return earnest money, uh, the right to you know, pay contractors that, I don't know, I'm, I'm reaching there for that. So the escrow agent has multiple issues that they are involved with inside of this deal. They must follow ethical procedures that have been laid out before them, even though they may not, and once again, here we go, morally agree <clears throat> with the buyer paying all the sellers back taxes. That may be a, 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 another good example, David. Here's one, maybe the, uh, the escrow agent personally doesn't morally agree, but they have abided, uh, the buyer and seller have agreed on that as a term, and therefore the ethics of that closer's job require to follow that instructions, even though he may not morally agree with that. All right? <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> oh, that was the last minute. I just thought of that. <laughs> Come on, give me some break. Give me a break here, man. <laughs> I'm looking here. So understand that these ethical procedures are laid out and they're laid out in this escrow agreement or purchase agreement, however you want to call it. That closer has to follow that to, because that's what was agreed upon by other, per, by other people and his ethical job is to fulfill the contract, even though he may not morally agree with some of the outcome of the answers. So that's just the setup so that we can get into the fun stuff here in just a minute of the rules and regulations of practicing fairly and competently.